Good evening, crafty friends. This is Lynn, the gift diva. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is safe and well. I am coming on tonight with a, a, a another Hobby Lobby challenge with Mo video. Uh, so uh, it's going to be real quick. So let me just show you what I use in my little project. So I got these. I got these beads um, at the last, well, not the last one, but the time before um, sale, red ticket sale. And so they've just been, I made, ta I made a few tassels when I first bought them, but didn't really um, look at them again. So I decided to pull them out and use them to try something else I've been wanting to try. And so I... I looked at a couple of videos. Oh, I use these as well. Hold on. I also use these. These are, I think these are relatively new from Bee Design Co. Um, but I got these on a 50% off day uh, when Bee Design Co. was 50% off. And I just like the leopard print um, style there. So I use those as well. Um, oh, before I show you my project, I want you to give a shout out to Memory Lane Keepsakes. Hey girl, uh, I just wanted to thank her. She sent me a beautiful thank you card for participating in the Doll Play with MLK Challenge, and um, which I still want to do for September. I know I only have a couple of days, so I will try to get to that. Um, and then she also sent me these cute little adhesive patches. Aren't those adorable? They are super cute. And so here's her card. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, Tanya, um, for thinking of me. And um, so if you are not subscribed to Memory Lane Keepsakes, um, please go on over and give her some love because she is awesome. Awesomeness. Okay, so let me um, show you my project. So I try my hand at stretch bracelets. Uh, I followed several, well, I kept, I just watched a series of tutorials. I watched Serenity Creations. I watched Put Some Bling on it. I watched Beatholic. Um, there was another one I watched. And there's apparently, you know, basically the same theme on how to put these together with some variations. So I gave it a shot. <laughs> I really had to do it because um, I'm making, uh, I'll show you these. These have nothing to do with my project, but... Um, I'm making these these little um, awareness bracelets for a, a project I'm doing at work uh, for a charity that we're working with, and they just needed some like number um, bracelets with their um, with their phone number on it uh, for the for for kids. So I just started do I needed to figure out how to do it for that, and so that's how I got the idea to for Mo's challenge tonight. So I've been working on those, but. Um, this is the first one I did with the purple beads and I just, you know, I'm, I have no design sense and <laughs> when it comes to jewelry. So I was so winging it y'all. And so I, um, added a little, I had these little bead cappy things to, uh, they have a name, bales, bales, that sound right y'all, um, to hide the knot. Um, and so I just added charms to, to mine to hide the knot. So I made, the, I made this one and they're not, once you get the hang of it, my, my, my worry is that these beads are kind of heavy and the, but the, I guess the wire is strong. I got the stretch magic yarn, I mean wire, um, in 0.8 millimeter. And so I'm hoping that that's going to be, cause some methods you double up the wire, I know I'm rambling, y'all. Um, some methods you double up the wire. Some methods you single wire. I just single wired these. Uh, so we'll see how they do, how they hold up. And then all of all of the ones I did for the charity are almost the same size because I just used my, I didn't know how to measure <laughs> how to do it. So I just used my wrist. And I have like the world's skinniest wrist. And so hopefully... Only kids will be wearing those bracelets because that's the only people who can fit them. Um, so anyway, I digress. Um, here's the purple one. 
And then I used the, uh, the gold and silver and white beads and added one of my little charms. And I think that came out kind of cute. You have to let me know what you think in the description box. And then, like I said, I used these, I, got, I had some of these rondelles in my stash. So I just added one, spay these little spacer beads in between um, to make a little design. And hopefully um, someone will like that. And then I used these little um, leopard print beads. And I used these little, I have this set of um, alphabet beads that I got to do the to do my work stuff and they had like I'll show you I got it I got it on Amazon no no check that back I got it at Michael's what is it so I got this set and it has it has several different kinds of word beads which is kind of neat and then I had to buy the number beads separately for my project but um, they come in silver and gold and black and white and thick beads and wood. So I thought that was a neat little set. So I made these. And my goal is to make um, like the stretchy bracelets in threes. Like um, put some bling on it and uh, Serenity Creations did with the words, you know, grateful, thankful, blessed or something. But, but I just tried it with Diva to see how it would work and added a little leaf charm at the end little tropical leaf charm so I, I you know I'm practicing so I think it came out okay so I will go about because I want to make my set myself a set and my um, my little my little niece a set and so we'll see how that goes that's suppose that's I'm going to try to make that my Christmas project for her <laughs> so we'll see let me know if I in the description box below if I should continue on with my endeavor or if I should just give up the fight um but that's what I did so thank you again Mo for um the challenge if you don't know about the challenge she is challenging you to use uh the products that you purchased during the Hobby Lobby sale she's using dyes but you know whatever you bought on the, in the red tag and uh, instead of putting it away and forgetting about it like we all do uh put you know get it out and make a project with it and so that's what I've been trying to do. And so thank you, Mo, for um, giving this, uh, giving us all the opportunity to do that. And you guys take care. Have a great week. And I will catch you in the next crafty video. Bye for now.